More news is coming out about Voyager Digital, when customer funds are coming back, if they're coming back, and why the Voyager token is pumping over 200%. We're covering it today. If you guys are enjoying these videos, hit that like button, hit subscribe, because we're pumping out videos every single day. And if you need even more information on what's going on with our crypto in this bear market and what we're doing, what we're telling our members, check out the CT Club down below. So Voyager Digital, it just came out that there is a judge that has granted the liquidators of Three Arrows Capital to go ahead and pursue their liquidations basically granting Voyager the right to subpoena information about Three Arrows Capital. They had given a loan to Three Arrows Capital to the, to the tune of $670 million. Now, Voyager Digital has the ability to gain access um, from uh, banks and crypto exchanges that, that Three Arrows Capital had been using. But here is the catch. There's always, unfortunately, a catch here is that the co-founders of Three Arrows Capital, Sue Zhu and Kyle Davies are on the run. They're, they have unknown whereabouts. So that's gonna make it very difficult to tie them down and enforce these liquidations. There's also a risk that because no one knows exactly where they are, they could move these digital assets out of the realm of being able to get acquired by Voyager Digital. And then those funds, of course, hopefully, trickling down back into the wallets of the users of Voyager Digital. So there's a lot of people who think like, okay, basically, what was it? Yesterday, two days ago, I did a video on, <clears throat> yesterday it was published about Voyager, how they have uh, published a plan on how customers will get their funds back if they are able to. A big part of that was if they would be able to pursue this debt against Three Arrows Capital. Now that green flag has been raised, uh, the, the token of Voyager Digital has pumped like crazy over 200%. Maybe it's also pumped because it's gotten out that uh, these users will be paid in this token. I don't know, maybe it's bullish for Voyager. I am not that optimistic about this. I'm just hoping for the bare minimum that the people who deposited funds onto this platform will at least get their funds back. And I don't think it's gonna be in the same form that they deposited, but at least they'll get something back and hopefully it will be liquid and they can turn it into whatever form of money that they require or desire. Um, that's it for today. If you guys are enjoying these updates, please hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.